Habitat Elevation version 2.3.4 was just released, and for you Apple fans out there, this might be our most exciting release yet. So let's get into it. Okay, we're not going to bury the lead. With the release of version 2.3.4, your Habitat Elevation Hub can now integrate with Apple HomeKit. Of course, this requires that you have an Apple HomeKit hub, be it an Apple HomePod, Apple TV, or even a dedicated iPad. But if you do, Habitat Elevation is now the ultimate bridge into HomeKit for Zigbee and Z-Wave devices. The devices you have in your Habitat system can now be connected with your Apple Home app, and it can also be controlled with Siri. You can use the Apple Home app as your dashboard. You can trigger automations using your Habitat hub to automate devices that may only be connected to Apple HomeKit. Conversely, you can use HomeKit connected devices to trigger automations in your Habitat Elevation Hub. The bottom line is that a whole new world of functionality has been opened up for iOS users with this integration. And personally, as an Apple guy myself, I could not be more excited. Check out our Apple HomeKit integration video for complete details on this. Of course, there is plenty more to this update for you non-Apple fanboys. As always, we have several new compatible devices to add to our quiver, including a bunch of new Jasko and Embrighton dimmers and switches. We've also added an Eva Logic dimmer and a ring glass break sensor. For app improvements, version 2.3.4 adds a new basic button controllers app that makes programming your buttons a little bit easier for those who don't need the full rule building capability of Rule Machine. The room lighting app has been updated with the ability to add hub variables for color settings. You can also trigger scenes for whiz bulbs, which I will be showing you in an upcoming Hub Whisper video. It's pretty slick. An optional Z-Wave firmware update is included in this version, which you should probably take advantage of if you use Z-Wave devices. Go into your hub settings, then Z-Wave details to find that update. And finally, we invite you to visit our booth at CES in January in the Venetian Expo in Las Vegas. Just like our hub, our booth will be small but mighty. I'll be there along with several members of the Hubitat team, so come say hello and see the latest and greatest from Hubitat. For the complete release notes, including all of the new app features and bug fixes, click the link in the description below. We do keep a running update of known issues in our online community at community.hubitat.com. So go check that out and meet other home automation enthusiasts just like you. So that's it for this update. Again, we are now compatible with Apple HomeKit. This is exciting news, people. Tell your family, tell your friends, tell strangers on the bus. They won't think you're crazy at all. Just spread the word. We think it's worth sharing. So that's it. Thanks for watching. And thanks, as always, for elevating your home with Hubitat Elevation. <laughs>